What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be doing a review on the Celestron Power Seeker 127EQ. Um, now before we start, make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, blah blah blah, share, you know the deal. Uh, yeah. Alright guys, so one thing I do like about this is that for the money that you're getting, it's a thousand millimeters of focal length. That's a lot of focal length for the money you're getting. I believe these are 150 bucks. Um, I mean, so for 150 dollars, you're getting a thousand millimeters of focal length, which is a lot. You're not going to find that on the market. You're not going to find a lot of this in the market for the same price. Um, so that's one thing I really do like about it. It's, it's affordable and it's, it's a lot of focal length for a person who's just starting out and wants to see a lot of stuff. Now, another thing I, I love about this telescope would have to be well, would have to be that it comes with a German equatorial mount. Now, the good thing about these is if you're getting into astrophotography, uh, it's very good to learn what an, uh, an equatorial mount does because when you get into uh, astrophotography, you're going to need an automatic one. These, these are manual, obviously. But when you get into astrophotography, uh, it's good to at least have a background on these. And for also for $150, you're getting a telescope and a German equatorial mount. And counterweight and I mean <clears throat> you really can't beat it um, so yeah that's just another thing I like about this um, what else do I like about this thing oh and one other thing I like about this it's at an f8 focal ratio so that's not the best but for for a starter that's very good because you do not want to go into like f5 f4 when you're just starting out if you do that, you're going to have a very bad time and you're probably going to get frustrated and just give up the hobby because there's going to be so much stuff in the way. So many stars that you're looking at, you're not going to know what you're looking at. Get something like this, uh, higher focal ratio, so you can really see what you're looking at and you can learn the night sky. So yeah, that's what I like about it. It's an F8. Really, again, uh, it's affordable. So... Yeah, that's what that's the last thing I like about this. So <clears throat> now to the things I do not like about this. The thing I do not like about this is this right here is the finder scope. This is not a good finder scope. You're gonna have a lot of trouble targeting anything. Uh, trust me, I've spent nights getting so frustrated that I just I just give up because of this. So. I, you're going to get this, I 150% recommend throwing this into the trash can and getting a brand new one, one that's way better. So, so that's one thing I hate about this. And uh, another thing I hate about this is it's going to be the slide. The slide is very cheaply made, it's made of plastic, uh, the tracks, they skip a lot and to be honest it's just a very cheaply made it, it moves around if you do astrophotography on this like I do. It moves back and forth, so it's not a good, it's just not good. Um, now, you could, you could take this whole piece off and get a whole new one and attach it to your tube, which is what I've, I've heard people doing. But I, I'm not confident enough to do that, but if you feel like you are, go ahead and do it. So, that's one thing I don't, that's the two things I don't like about it. And now, the last thing I'm going to say about this that I don't like is that it's only a five inch mirror. Now, <clears throat> it's, 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 it's a, if you're starting out, I, I would highly suggest trying to get like a, I mean, this is very good for starting out. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to say. If, if you get a, a bigger mirror, like an like a, like a eight inch, you're gonna go into the focal ratio usually of F5 and stuff like that. That's a lot for someone starting out, but if, if you're just starting out, uh, I think a 5 inch, 6 inch mirror is very good. I know they have a Power Seeker 137 EQ. I think that's a 6 inch mirror. Um, but yeah. I, if, but right now, since I'm progressively getting you know more and more uh, into the, the hobby, you outgrow a 5 inch mirror real fast. And you just start want to... I'm going to upgrade and in another video I'll tell you guys about what I'm getting. So... Yeah, I'm just going to see, like, what am I trying to think of? Like, anything else 
that I don't or like or do like about this. I mean, the only other thing I would have to say that I like about it, it's very cheap. It's 150 bucks, I think, the last time I saw it. And you get everything. You get all this. And you also get a 9mm and a 25mm. So, but yeah, I, I just really can't beat it for the price. If you do get it, take this binder scope and crush it with your foot because it's trash. So, yeah, guys, that's all I have to say about this. Uh, I'll leave the description. I'll leave the, a link to this in the description uh, if you want to pick it up. I do highly suggest it if you're a person just starting out uh, uh, astronomy.